Good morning to everyone that's listening to me. I want to state quite candidly and straightforward. I, Kesi Naya, yes, Kesi Naya, the CEO, founder, the creator of NAFCA, the National Association Towards Violence, Crime and Abuse, do hereby call for that CAFA state president, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, yes, I mean the CAFA state president Cyril Ramaphosa, to be charged for frauding this nation, for oppressing this nation, for eye treason, for failing, and the, the source to all crime, violence, poor health care, poverty that prevails in a so-called true democracy. The marches, the Mandela days, is a total mockery to the blood, the sacrifices of Nelson Mandela. I am prepared to go to prison for the rest of my life or take a bullet. You know, I just want to say the truth will hurt. And really, you've got to look at yourself. You or we are the ones that have basically condoned, entrenched, enshrined the illogical beliefs of divide and rule. If you divide and rule, what is that? It's the height of insanity. If you do not see, you are now promoting apartheid. You are now promoting to fight each other. You are now being referred to by race, by color, by creed, yet you are not. You are of that belief. And when you condone that and you fight with each other, when you make racist remarks, when you call yourself by race, when you refer to yourself as black or white or Indian, colored, brown, green, yellow, you are a racist because you, that's what you are. If you are saying to the world that you are Hindu, Christian, Muslim, this and that, you are now condoning a system of division. We are not. We are spiritual beings on a human journey. So am I a Malkop? Am I, am I not prepared to die for the truth? Till my very last breath, I will die till the day this land realizes those that com commit atrocities, violence hacks upon you as if you have forgotten. That's what the ANC did. They picked up the armed struggle in contour with Caesar. In contour with Caesar, just like apartheid, is still in existence. You've got to realize that. We now call for the entire representative that are defrauding this nation by false means. We put them as public servants, not as public warlords. That's what they have become. That's what they're saying to us. When you vote for them every five years, they plead with you. It's you, the government. They are not the government. So you have the right to ask them to step down with immediate effect. Why you can't? We are divided and they rule. That's the reality of hypocrisy. That's the reality of insanity. Be my guest. Because you know why? What's the meaning of a kaffir? A kaffir, the meaning of a kaffir is the one who thinks he knows but don't know he doesn't know. So he only blacks, kaffirs, or we all? And what's the meaning of a coolie? The one who keeps his mouth quiet all the time. Cool. Acts as if he's dumb. Like a, he's dumb, he knows nothing. The one who acts, he knows nothing. Learns everything from the world. So when you know nothing, you have picked up the vision of logic. Act as if you know nothing. Don't act as if, as if you know everything, but don't know you will know nothing. You are the true Malkop. I am the Malkop. I talk like a Malkop, but I mean... I play a very dangerous game, for I see the world as an illusion. You see it as a dangerous game. We all are moments for death. You want to go to heaven, but you're not prepared to die. So then we put a bullet in your head, then you blame us. Because we sent you to heaven, you should be thanking us. You should show gratitude to us. That's what it is. Because you, you know nothing, you know fuck all. But you act like you know everything. Useless. Absolutely useless. Monkeys, baboons, kaffirs. It's time you act like a coolie. Really, all of you. The state president, once again I say, is a damn kaffir. Without a shadow of a doubt. I'm waiting.